Hey, good Wednesday morning, everyone. This is Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Wednesday, August the 2nd. Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday morning. I am joined this morning by my baby girl, Bella. If you look over my shoulder here on the blue chair, you could see her head peeking over the chair a little bit. She has been connected to me lately much more than ever before. She's been with us now for three and a half years, but she started out a very shy girl and very withdrawn and had some issues. But now she's really come around. She's become a very affectionate dog and she has been more connected to me than ever before, which certainly I'm not complaining about. It's something that is a beautiful thing when we're connected to someone as we should always be connected to God for we don't know what will happen in a positive way when we strengthen those connections in our life. So I'm going to ask you, as I always do, to quiet your minds and hearts. As today we listen to Exodus chapter 34, verses 29 to 35. As Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, he did not know that the skin of his face had become radiant while he conversed with the Lord. When Aaron then and the other children of Israel saw Moses and noticed how radiant the skin of his face had become, they were afraid to come near him. Only after Moses called to them did Aaron and all the rulers of the community come back to him. Moses then spoke to them. Later on, all the children of Israel came up to him and he enjoined on them all that the Lord had told him on Mount Sinai. When he finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses entered the presence of the Lord to converse with him, he removed the veil until he came out again. On coming out, he would tell the children of Israel all that had been commanded. Then the children of Israel would see that the skin of Moses' face was radiant. So he would again put the veil over his face until he went to converse with the Lord. Most of us know Moses as Charlton Heston in the movie The Ten Commandments, a masterful performance for sure by an actor that I always enjoyed watching, and maybe you did too. Moses is quite the character. He did not get portrayed about him totally accurately in that movie, how his journey got to where it got him to as such a connected person to God entrusted to do so much. First and foremost, it's important to realize that Moses had a speech impediment, a pretty bad one apparently. So in order to communicate, he had to work on this. Don't we all have some type of affliction that we feel holds us back from something that we're doing in life? I know I do. I have several. And we could either use them, as I have done at times, as an excuse, or we could use them to power us forward. And Moses certainly did that. However, for the most part of Moses' life, he was a, you know, a shepherd. He took care of animals, and he did a great job doing it. But he had no clue that he would be tapped on the shoulder by God later on in life to do such a miraculous thing as to carry through his word to the people in Israel and present the Ten Commandments. In fact, he just thought he would be an animal shepherd for the rest of his life. But the most important thing to realize is he stayed dedicated to that. And his level of dedication to a seemingly small lifestyle, if you will, granted God the ability to say to him, hey, you can do more because you are remaining dedicated. And then, so he did. He accepted and he said yes to God and he held open the possibilities of all he could do beyond what he was doing. Moses then is an example for all of us of how he made his life happen. He didn't let his afflictions st stop him in any way. As a matter of fact, he used it to power him forward. He did the task that was before him on that day in a very dedicated way, something we need more of in our world today. And then he remained open to God's call and he said, yes, sure, I'll take on more responsibility. And that should be our answer regardless of where we are in life, regardless of our age and regardless of what we're doing. 
Moses then is our hero for the day. <laughs> let's connect to him and let's learn some powerful lessons that can help us through the rest of our life. Well, my friends, that's my message for you on this Wednesday morning. As always, I hope it was helpful. Please share it on your page if you thought it was helpful for you. I always welcome your comments and your thoughts. Before I offer that period of silence, I just want to let you know that next week, I am not sure how many days I will be posting videos. I'm going to be off next week. I don't know how much I'll be able to do, but maybe I'll have a clearer picture tomorrow and I'll let you know. For now, let us just put ourselves into that place of silence. Let's kind of meditate on what we heard today and how it affects our life. And if anybody has any questions, as always, I'm open to them. Most loving God, we thank you for the example of Moses. We thank you for his dedication, his ability to work through his affliction and let it fuel him for future endeavors in his life. We thank you for giving an example of him being open to God's call and answering God's call when it came to him, regardless of where he was at that point in his life. Let us be motivated and inspired by Moses on this day and every day. And we thank you for all the gifts you bestow upon us. Well, my friends, I wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care, everyone.